Hello boys and girls. In this video, I will give you a glimpse of what a rope access NDT technician go through in a day's work. I will walk you through some of the basic techniques we use and also introduce you to some of the common rope access equipment we have. So please stay tuned. The task at hand for today is to perform magnetic particle inspection of some welds. The welds we need to inspect happens to be overboard and the best course of action in this situation is to use rope access. You may have already seen rope access technician hanging from a rope and oftentimes that rope is directly on top of him. But in this case, as you can see, there is an overhead obstruction to the spot that we need to work on. So we will have to use two sets of ropes as you will see later in the following video. You see the technician abseil from a rope and then he got his hands of another set of ropes that he will connect to his harness. There is always a pair of ropes we are working with. One is always a backup. Right now, he is connecting a shunt to his backup rope. That is a kind of a fall protection device and with that, he will always be connected to a rope at all times in case for some reason that he is disconnected from his main rope. The other rope he connected to his crawl, which is connected to the harness, and he pulls on that rope so that he can move to his left side. He is using the hand ascender to have a better grip of the rope. Now, he abseil a little bit more from the rope on his right and that action further take him to the left. Watch as this time, he then used the hand ascender together with the foot loop so that he is using the stronger leg muscle to pull himself up on the rope. And that, boys and girls, is how we get into position in situation where there is an overhead obstruction. Here you will see that the ropes have deviation, or in other words, they are not vertically straight. And you can clearly see why that has to be the case. They cannot be vertically straight because of the overhead obstruction. Now the technician can go to work preparing the surface for MPI. We use chemical paint stripper to remove the paint from the welds. We also have to use an angle grinder fitted with a steel cup brush to further clean the surface. There is a risk that the rotating part of the power tool get caught on the rope and that could be a disaster. So, the technician has to be very careful not to let the rotating part of the tool get too close to the ropes. This part of the job is very tedious. The feet has no grip and he is pushing his legs against the wall so that he can be at some distance from what he is working at. He is holding the grinder in an awkward position at eye level. The overhead obstruction prevents him from getting to a more comfortable position. The work is near the platform so a body can help handing him the tools. At this point, the technician needs to move to his right side.
he took out the hand ascender with the foot loop and connect it to the left rope. One foot on the strap, one hand on the ascender, and one hand to disengage the roll. With coordinated movement, he lowered himself a little bit from the left rope. Now he transferred the hand ascender to the right rope. He is attached to the right rope with an ID. And with that, a body on the platform can help pull him to the right side. The purpose of using the hand ascender and foot loop is to remove the tension of the rope from his crawl or ID. And that, boys and girls, is how we move into position, either left or right, when being suspended from two sets of ropes. Then it's time again with the tedious job of using the power tool, fighting against the wall and the power tool at shoulder level. We remove the paint so that the welds are exposed to bare metal, ready for MPI. Twenty minutes later. And lastly, for the main event, the actual NDT inspection using visible wet magnetic particle and permanent magnet to perform magnetic particle inspection or MPI of the welds. And like 99% of the time, we did not see any cracks or defects on the weld, which is good because that is what the client wants to hear. On the following clips, you will see the technician basically doing exactly as I explained earlier. Except that this time, he is using two IDs, which makes life a lot easier in this situation. Because with the IDs, a body can help pull him up and at the same time, he can easily abseil down. So basically, we control the position by adjusting the distance that we are attached between the two ropes. We can move up or down and left or right.
And that's all for this video, boys and girls. A day in a life of a rope access NDT technician. I hope you enjoy and find this short video useful. I would like to read your comments and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more of this content. Thank you very much. Work safe and God bless us all.